Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm going to be giving you a Diego Forlan FIFA 23 player review. One of my all-time favourite FIFA players back in that FIFA 12, FIFA 13 I think it might have been. Uh, he was unbelievable and I'm hoping that he's going to be the same on this FIFA. So, if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that we're going to get into the base stats, then the in-game stats, then get into some actual gameplay, and back to the in-game stats where we compare in-game stats compared to the actual gameplay. If you do like the video, please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more FIFA 23 player reviews, and there will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. So let's get into it. 88 overall striker from Uruguay, um, and he's got 86 pace, 90 shooting, 79 passing, 85 dribbling, 55 defending, 76 physical, um, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, really really good, um, I don't really use skill moves myself but I know a lot of people do so having that's really good, but the 4 star weak foot is definitely uh, a very good thing to have, 5 foot 11, high high on the work rates which is very rare for a striker especially, um, and I was the first owner because it is a lone player, however he is worth currently about 580k um, so that is the price that I will be reviewing him based off of um, so yeah as I say with these videos I always try and look for three key stats there um, and I think I found my three without even needing to really dig deep deeper um, 86 pace 90 shooting and 85 dribbling are three incredible stats and make me very excited to give four land a go particularly that shooting with the pace that is just ridiculous. Um, so let's hope that he actually performs as well as what it says on the card. Um, yeah, let's get into the actual in-game stats now, and then some gameplay, and then I'll be uh, giving my final verdict on if I think um, Diego Forlan is worth the coins. So, 86 pace, made up at 87 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. So I'm expecting him to be rapid, to be honest. Really, really quick. Um, there's some really nice stats there. Um, so hopefully they, they, they will reflect in game. I like when they're quite close to each other and they're only two different, so pretty good. And here we are, the shooting, which is at 90, just ridiculous. Um, so we've got 89 attack positioning, uh, 90 finishing, 91 shot power, 92 long shots, 90 volleys and 88 penalties. You know when you're starting a stat with 9 as the beginning, then it's going to be a good card and this is just looking ridiculous. Um, all of those stats look just, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, just unreal best shooting stats I think that I've seen um, in any FIFA, every, near enough every single one of them are in 90 if not the very very late 80s so I'm looking forward to getting some goals with this guy. 79 passing made up at 86 vision, 66 curving, uh, 85 free kick accuracy, 84 short pass, 74 long pass, 73 curve, not too bad there really, um, I would like the short pass to be the highest stat there and it is, other than the vision, which is also a good stat to have. Um, so I'm liking the looks of those passing. Crossing doesn't matter for a striker at all. Um, neither does long pass, really. So some really nice stats there. Um, four and a 79 passing, they look pretty good. Then 85 dribbling, uh, made up at 81 agility, 80 balance, which is really, really good. Shouldn't be sluggish in any way at all. Um, 86 reactions, 88 ball control, 83 dribbling and 87 composure. Really good stats there. What more can I say? I mean, this card is looking like it's going to be absolutely unreal. Let's hope that, that is the case when we get into the gameplay. Um, but 55 defending, made up of 53 interceptions, not really bothered about defending too much, um, only the uh, the head and accuracy is 82, maybe try and get some headers, but to be honest I had Tim K all the reviews in the description and I couldn't really get any headers off with him, so if I can't with him I don't know if I will be able to with any, I don't think headers are my strong point. Um, 76 physical, made up of 77 jumping, 84 stamina, 76 strength, 65 aggression, again some really nice stats in there, particularly the uh, the stamina, but the, the strength is the one that I care about, if strength 76 then the physical 76, if strength 90 then the strength 90, that's the way it goes for me as far as that physical stat goes, and to be honest, fair, fair enough, randomly this one actually is bang on, so let's get into some gameplay, I'm really excited to test out the pace and the shooting. Alright, so Diego Forlan. Let's get into the uh, individual stats. 86 pace. Didn't feel like 86 pace to me. Um, unfortunately, I've got Ronaldo next to him. He's got 81 pace. And Ronaldo felt faster than the four lap. 
which is really quite strange um, in my opinion. I don't know what it was there that where the pace just felt a little bit lower than what the car suggests. I mean, you are seeing him get away from some defenders here, um, but yeah, I just I don't know. I don't know what it was. It just didn't feel as fast as what it should. I can't knock the shooting though. Once he got into the box and once a pass was made to him in a good area, his shooting did feel fantastic. He didn't really miss too many chances. Missed a couple, but who doesn't really? Um, unless you're Diego Milito. Um, but yeah, he, he did manage to get, I mean, look at this. This is some nice dribbling there and then a banger of a goal. That's with his weak foot as well. Um, so yeah, once you're in that sort of position, you're not really going to miss with the guy, and that's really, really good. And his positioning was good as well. He made some really good runs, as you're seeing here. Um, his passing was all right. I didn't really notice anything too bad or too good. It was just, you know, 79, which is what the card says anyway. Um, his dribbling felt okay. It, it didn't feel, like, fantastic um, in terms of dribbling. Like, it's a high stat on the card, and I feel like I've had some players that felt like they dribbled a bit better than Forlan. Um, which is a shame because I did think that his dribbling would be one of his key attributes. I mean, he, he, look at this. He has got some pace and it is good pace, but he's still getting caught up by defenders. Whereas Ronaldo, I feel like once you get the ball to him, he's away and he's got less pace um, on the card than, than what Forlan has. So it's just things like that for me um, that made the card a little bit more disappointing than what I was expecting. Maybe I had too much of high hopes, but with them stats that you're seeing on the, on the screen previously and that you're about to see, I kind of, I just would have expected him to have got more, he scored a lot, but just, I don't know, it, it just didn't feel right for me. So we're going to get into the in-game stats now, and then, uh, and then I'll give my final verdict. Remember, he is worth 580k at the time of recording this video, so 86 pace, going to have to decrease it, unfortunately. Uh, it's about an 80, well, I mean, Ronaldo's 81. I did increase Ronaldo's, though, I think, on the uh, on the review that I did for Ronaldo, so I'd probably go for about an 82 um, for his pace, that's more what it felt like to me. So I think I increased Ronaldo to like an 83, 84, something like that. So I'm going to have to put him slightly below at 82. And the 90 shooting, I, I'll leave at 90 because 90 is just a ridiculous stat. And, you know, like not increasing it seems like it's a bad thing, but it's really not. Like 90 shooting is unreal anyway. So I'm going to leave it at that. 79 passing. Uh, I'll probably leave that as well, to be honest. It felt average. It didn't feel spectacular, but it didn't feel terrible. He, he passed where he needed to, um, so I can't knock the passing really there. Dribbling can come down slightly, maybe. 83-84, I feel like his dribbling was probably worth. Um, it wasn't terrible. Again, same as like, the passing. It was okay. I didn't notice anything terrible, but at 85, that's a really, really good stat. I felt like he probably needed to be weaving and, and he didn't really weaving and winding. He didn't really do that for me. Defending our levers is obviously 55. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then the physical I'll actually increase because he did feel pretty strong. Um, I don't think that 76 is a fair stat for him. I feel like he's more like 82, 83. So I'm going to actually make that's a big increase as well. I'm going to increase 82, 83 for the uh, the physical there for Diego Forlan. So we had decreased the pace, kept the shooting the same. I kept the passing the same, decreased the dribbling, uh, kept the defending the same and increased the physical. That is unfortunate. For 580k as well, I'm unfortunately going to have to say that Diego Forlan was not worth it as much as I really, really did want him to be because I love the player. Like, I, in real life and in previous FIFAs, I've always liked Forlan, but for me, just not good enough. So I hope that this video helped make you uh, helps make your decision. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There is a link in the description down below, full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Bye. -bye.